And I was saying, well, would it be better than the first movie? Which, you know, I thought the first movie was okay. Hey, like, half of the writing was okay, but the other half is just, huh, it's just a little odd. And, well, again, and I thought it was okay. Would the second one be better than the first one? Yeah, I would like to say that, that as positive reviews has already been up, or rather, mixed in positive reviews. Which, you know, I could definitely look forward to that. Huh, I still look forward to that. And of course, people are going to bring up as like, oh no, it's like 50-something percent of Rotten Tomatoes, the beach is bad. Uh, remember the Friday, Friday Nights at Freddy's? Of course, you guys would always say, don't listen to critics. You're better off having your own fucking opinions for the most. <laughs> or rather, you're better off just being a better person like uh, than say idiot people like you know ryan kittle or the quartering or master of tds because fuck those guys they're just they're complete assholes you know just the usual racist bigots the sexist bigots transphobic homophobic bigots yeah fuck those people <laughs> even as to say i stand with the people that are against them because well too much bigotry going on and people thrive too much on bigotry really need some help <sighs> But anyways, aside of a lot of that, man, I definitely look forward to watching the Marvels, at least for, uh, not for Disney's sake, but for, uh, Nia's sake, Nia DaCosta. I mean, again, I thought she did pretty well directing, uh, you know, The Candyman in 2021. I thought it was good. I didn't like the ending, but it was a pretty good, a pretty good movie. I would just say... I think it was like a 7 or an 8, in my opinion. And for being the first black woman to direct at a Marvel movie, of course I'm going to support her. Like, come on. And even for Variety's shitty move last week, like, dude, really? You're going to be able to throw someone because, tell you what, Steven Spielberg, Tim Burton, all their directors do that. Of course they move on to different productions during a post-production of a movie because it's a normal thing going on. I don't know what the hell's your beef. It's just being a racist and sexist loser variety like shit. <laughs> so, so, you know, of course, I'm doing it for her. I'm not doing it for anybody else. I'm not doing it for Disney because of their current motives. Just, you know, I'm doing it for her. Because needs more black excellence for this year. You know, like, like a decently good Little Mermaid. Great remake, or, or the, the uh, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, because we need more black excellence going on, especially, well, what is that whole movie? The Blackening, or They Call Tyrone, or Intergalactic. Those movies are pretty damn good. I, I love seeing new ideas, especially from uh, black directors, you know? Needs more of those. Especially for LGBTQIA communities. They... Their voices and their works also need to be uplifted, so, you know, support them as much. Hell, I even managed to get a... To back up... Uh, what was this? Leonard? Actually, I'm gonna pull his name up. Which, I do encourage you to go in, back up his projects. Uh, where is it? There it is! Lamar Cheraim. Hey, I would like to see his works... That is going up and running, all oiled up, ready to go. So, you know, go check out his stuff at, Kick, at Kickstarter. He's a pretty damn good. Uh, and he's getting Keith David uh, as one of the main, main leads. Like, come on, man. Who doesn't love Keith David? One of the best, best actors I know. 